what's going on y'all it's turning them wheels i got this new little dash cam put it on my windshield so i'll go ahead and try it out today uh, you can let me know in the comments how the audio and video comes out today's like a little rainy saturday in houston i figured i'd give y'all a little opportunity to check this out and for myself to check out the quality of this thing i was pretty excited when i uh figured everything out and got it all set up, popped in the little memory card. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. I think I'm going to go get uh, some food to eat today on the Saturdays and probably just watch some movies or TV shows or something. I ain't really trying to get out in this rain really. pretty stable on the mount. Looks like it holds it pretty good. It doesn't rattle. Looks like it holds it pretty tight. I got everything tightened up. And the little part that goes on the windshield, I mean, it was kind of sticky, which is good for that. It's got the little clamp to hold it down good. All the little mounts to put it together was very easy installation. Uh, it did not come with the memory card, though. So you have to buy your own. So the one I went with, uh, went with was the SanDisk. I mean, they, they're pretty good. I have it on my other little 4K camera, and then I have it on this one. And I mean, so far it's been pretty good. So knock on wood and quality when you buy them, stuff like that. There's some Green Day on the radio. I ain't heard them in a while. So. I wonder how good it'll pick up the audio of my voice and the music. So I'm about to see. looks pretty clear from my end so we'll see how clear it comes out when uh when i upload it and stuff like that get it all edited kind of think i'm in the mood for some chinese food maybe get some like panda express or something like that Want me to do like some like future dash cam videos or stuff like that. My birthday is going to be this week on the 15th, and I think we're going to go ride Segways. So I'll get y'all some footage of that. We're going to be going to Galveston to do the tour. It's like one of the biggest uh, sea walls in America, I'm pretty sure. It's not too far from Houston, Texas. If you like off-roading, there's like a little beach area called San Luis. It's like down the road from Galveston. It's good ways. That's where uh, I made a few videos of my Tundra, but I don't know. It kind of took kind of tore up the ball joints and CVs and stuff like that, so I ain't really been out there. I haven't really been making any off-road videos of my truck because I ain't trying to tear it up. I gotta I gotta drive this thing daily. Whenever I get my, uh, my Articat 500 fixed, whenever I get it all fixed up and running, I'll, I'll start making videos of that. Use the little handlebar mount, clip it on there. Way I can bring y'all some footage, stuff like that. 
do, go riding with my cousin's dirt bike, find the fuller and dirt bike or something like that, that'd be fun. I'd like to get a side-by-side -side in a few years, maybe like a Polaris Razor or an Articat Wildcat. A little two-seater, throw a little cooler or toe straps or whatever in the back. Use it for if you're hunting, put your deer corn back there, or whatever you're using it for. No, I've seen a, uh, I've seen a few power line companies. They have them on a trailer, and they use them on the power line trail to get down there. But not, not a lot of them use them like that. They're usually used for like farmers or recreational activities, like mudding. Pretty good amount of cars on the road today. I'm curious if I can uh, be able to read the plates on these vehicles once they uh, upload it and stuff like that. I know I like watching dash cam videos of like police or fire response. Always fun. Our 18 wheeler dash cam. I know, I know the dash cams are, are crazy popular in Russia. They're as popular in America. I don't know. It's still a lot of fun. I think I got this one for like $39.99. If you're interested in the camera, I can uh, get you the link for it. I'll provide that for you. I think it's currently unavailable right now. I think I bought it. And I think it, it went away for some reason. I'm not too sure. Big Dollar General 18 wheeler. Got a little pool guy in front of us. We got all those little buckets and stuff like that in front. Song Evanescence Going Under. Pretty good little song. I ain't heard it in a while. Thing we're not stuck on the uh, traffic of Beltway Feeder. It looks pretty backed up on the sides. I'm glad to be going this way. Walmart over here. I know I always make the joke about Walmart. They always got some some old country lady working the customer service, and you can take anything back to Walmart. They their return policy is like you can do whatever. It's pretty funny. I always make them laugh. Murphy USA. 
Alright, so I'll be pulling into Panda Express right now and getting me some food. Alright, so I got my uh, orange chicken from Panda Express. I'll be heading out. With a little Walmart parking lot. What I was noticing when I was in the drive through line was that there's like a little ditch over here. And it looks like somebody drove through it. But it's like rutted out all through the middle. I know you probably can't tell, but I don't really want to drive through there because it's been raining all day. It looks rutted pretty bad, and cops could easily get you. It's always kind of sketchy when you pull offside the road or you're in a like public kind of area and you go, you know, go mud or off road and stuff like that. I got busted by the cops one time and it was not fun. It's kind of better to go to like down south off road. I know they're closed right now. They have a court case. Or go to uh, extreme off road would be the one I would highly recommend. They've been renovating it and you know making it better and stuff like that. And it's a real nice park. I'd recommend going there. It's out in Crosby. It's off a uh, Gulf Pump Road. Yeah. We'll try not to do tearing up that property right there today. We'll just be heading back. <laughs> Hopefully this chicken will be good today. Never had a bad problem with Panda Express. They've always been good quality, good customer service. The one I don't like is the Burger King. They do not have good customer service, and I don't like their food. I don't really like Arby's. I'd say the ones I like are Wendy's and McDonald's. Uh, the most important one is Whataburger. Every, well, I would say every, but I would say 95% of Texans love Whataburger. That's the thing. So, yeah. It's an old song. It's Headstrong by Trap. Now when Craig Vigio was still playing for the Astros, he came up to bat and they played this song and he hit a grand slam and knocked in all his teammates. That was awesome. Well, I've been to a few Astros games, but one of the ones I went to, he was still playing and knocked all that in. That was amazing. Looks like they got a new Nike store over here at the outlet. The little strip center. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff going on. I ain't been over here in a while. You buying this Lexus? There we go. And the option to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, but every time I go there, I always spend way too much money getting wings or beer or appetizers. makes all your money disappear but it is good I've always had good customer service there and good food good service so it's worth it I guess some Mustangs probably a probably a woman I've noticed most Mustangs are female drivers or they're male drivers that can't drive worth the crap either one could be both popular store in Texas here kind of like a Walmart but it's like a little better service my sister used to work at uh, the H-E-B in Pearland pretty good I know you got like the H-E-B and Kroger and Walmart H-E-B is nice but I like Walmart because you know you can take anything back to Walmart and they, they'll just be like uh, you know just run in the back and get you another one I don't even, you don't even, get, you don't even gotta have a receipt. An old country lady would be like, all right, you, you can just take it back and uh, get you another one. 
But if I want to get the better food, I'll probably go to H-E-B. But if I'm just like in a hurry or whatever, I'll just run into like Walmart. But the bad thing about Walmart is you go in for $15 worth of stuff and you come out and you spend about three or four hundred dollars. Go in there for like toothpaste and Q-tips or you know something small like that. You come out with eight hundred dollars worth of crap. And you're having to push multiple buggies back to your truck, your car, whatever. Anyways, like there's like a Subaru on the road. I don't, I don't usually see the Subarus down here. It's more of like a northern thing or. Maybe East Coast. I know my uncle used to have one, and people would always rev their motors at him, and he would not really race them, he would just mess with them a little bit. I think he sold it and got a Jeep. I like Jeeps, but I don't think. I like the Jeeps, but yeah, I don't think I'd want to get one because I want to get a side by side, and it'd be kind of pointless to have a side by side and a Jeep. Think about it. That'd be fun though. I want to have a cooler side by side or Jeep just because if this would just have two off road Jeeps, I don't know. It'd be fun. It's just kind of fun. Little Ford Explorer. Hopefully, this food stays warm by the time I get back. Get cold.